hey this is a multi-part series and i have linked part number one in the video description down below oh and if you want to follow along you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources chat with fellow students and by the way it's completely free so let's start with video welcome to chapter three and module two in this chapter we finally will build our priority robot which will help us to tell which payment terms we should improve first So how do we get all these data sets that we have day in, day out into our automations? There are endless file formats and file types out there. And a lot of them are even pro proprietary, which means you cannot even read them if you don't have the right application installed on your local machine. Plus the huge amount of different ERP systems and other reporting tools that are around in any, any price at any given moment in time. NIME can help us to streamline all these workflows and all these things, these data sets, and get them into one application into a streamlined automation. It has a lot of connectors and a lot of data sources it can read from. And today we are going to start with the most popular one, the accelerator node. So fire up NIME and please make sure to download the resource files, the base files that are attached on the lesson page of this lesson to make sure that you can follow along. Let me just switch to the screen. First, we want to create a new workflow. Click on the corresponding icon at the very top left of the taskbar, select new nine workflow and give it a name. We call this procurement Ter term payment terms improvement robot PTI robot the destination of the new workflow local is totally fine if I click browse I could choose a different destination and of course since I'm using NIME already for some time my folder structure looks quite different than probably yours but local is totally fine here so just click finish and boom, it opens up our new workflow, our new canvas empty here in the NIME application. Okay, so now we first want to use the Excel Reader node. So put your cursor into the search bar of the node repository and type the word Excel in here. This gives us only a few nodes. The one we want, of course, is the Excel Reader. Left click it. Hold the left mouse button and drag and drop it onto the canvas. So before we even configure it, and you can see it needs configuration because it has the red traffic light with the exclamation mark here, which means I don't know what I should do, if you remember one of the last lessons. But before we even configure it, now is a good time to give it a name and a label. So while it's still selected with this black border here around the node icon, press F2 to enter text edit mode. So what does this node do? It will import our PVO report and that's exactly how we label it. Import PVO report. Please note, if you press enter during this text edit mode, it will create a line break. To leave the text edit mode, just click somewhere outside of the node like this. Configure the node now by double clicking on it. All right, so first things first, click the browse button at the top right to locate the local files you want to import into your NIME workflow. So for me, they are in my downloads folder and the one I want to import here is the poexampledata.xlsx file. Click open. And as soon as you click open, you see a preview of the file as it would be imported into NIME in the bottom half of this configuration window. But there are a lot of red question marks indicating missing data. That is due to the structure of our base Excel file. It has three leading col empty columns in its structure, a date we don't really need, and the headings in row number four. We will fix this chaos now. First look 
at the column header section. This is the place where we can tell Naim where it will find the headings. And if you remember the base file, it has its headings in row number four. So I change that to four and you can see the preview immediately refreshes. And when I enter four here into the row number, you can see that now it has the correct headings here in this NIME table. Next, we will get rid of most of these red question marks. Go to the section that is called sheet area here the one above the preview window and click the read only data in radio button. This enables us to enter information into these fields and in the columns from we choose D instead of A and in the rows from we choose five instead of one. And what this basically does, it tells Nine that the core data, the core information it should read starts in cell D5 of the Excel file. If you open up the base Excel file, you will see that this is absolutely correct. Preview looks good, so we click OK. And now you can see our traffic light has turned yellow. That means it's ready to execute. Let's execute it by either pressing F7 as long as it's selected, meaning it has this black little border around the I, uh, note icon, or by pressing this green arrow button here at the top bar, which is what I will do right now. And now you see our data has, has been imported. It turns to green, the traffic light turns to green. Let's have a quick look at the results by right clicking on the note and selecting the last entry from this context menu called file table, which opens up a new window and we can see all our imported data here. The headings seem to be right. All data is imported here. So let's scroll down because it comes with a little caveat. I said most of the red question marks are gone, but not all. And that is because Nime so far has also imported the totals row. I show you in the next lesson how you can get rid of that. For now, just close this window by clicking on the red X and press Control S on your keyboard to save your workflow in its current state. Awesome job. That was your first data integration. We have now connected NIME and our robot here to an Excel base file. By the way, the Excel reader is an extremely popular node. Just head over to the NIME forums and search for Excel Reader and you will see that lots and lots of people are using it. I would say that for us procurement people, it is one of the most important, if not the most important integration nodes, meaning the nodes that get data into our robots, into our automations, into our workflows. And now you are one of those many successful NIME users as well that can do data integrations. Congratulations. Now you know how to get spreadsheet data into your NIME automation, how to clean it up and how to prep it for further automation. So see you in the next lesson. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.